What's going on guys? It's your boy HDK. Today I'm not going to do the intro because today I'm doing a video of something slightly different. If you are an influencer, if you are somebody with a dream, if you are someone that wants to create NFTs, I understand. It's not easy. It's actually not that easy, but it is possible, right? And so today I just want to talk to you about what I can do for you. So this is my NFT series, right? I've actually basically drawn the NFTs myself, all right? and generated them myself. What I've done is I have then created the website, created the smart contract, and then boom, posting it on and you know, pre-sale and the rest of it. I'm in the process of doing all of that. Today, I wanna talk about how you should go about launching your NFTs, right? Obviously, you know, like come buy my NFT if you want, come to join my whitelist if you want, that's fine. But today I wanna to talk about how you can make your own NFTs, right? That's what I wanna talk about. With NFTs, you gotta first be able to draw generate, right? I'm talking about those like 10,000 generation, 8,000, 5,000 generation, right? So with NFTs, right? That, you know, with the generative art ones, right? Where you generate like 5,000 to 10,000, right? And you want to put it on a smart contract and it goes, and you can't actually upload every single one onto OpenSea. That's just ridiculous, right? So you need what's called a smart contract to be able to do this. So you need to have, first of all, you need to have the drawing and then you got to generate the art. And then you got to then be able to host the art and then put it on a smart contract. And at the same time, you need a website to be able to then host it all at the same time. I am basically providing that service as a whole because as I was trying to do this and learn how to do this from step by step, there is a lot of resources available out there. And there's a lot of codes that's ready to be made and you can put it in. The biggest issue that I had is whether or not I can trust the people that I'm working with. So for example, this is my drawing here. So basically getting the artwork done, okay? So I, I put in a bit of my artistic direction. You know, I can put in like a different horn, for example, and you gotta actually layer it up in a systematic way and also be able to put rarities on each of these traits, first of all. Once you have that, then you gotta obviously generate them. When you generate these NFTs, you wanna make sure that, for example, certain hats don't go with certain eyewear, for example. So I've got this hat right now, but if I put on this eyewear, it, oh, that still goes well, all right. But if I put in something like a, like a large oversized one, well, that still doesn't look too bad. Let's change the headwear to something else. I'll show you what I mean. If I change the head to this, for example, which comes with like an eye patch, right, already. But if I put a pair of glasses like that, that looks just so messed up. So the code has to be smart enough to actually reject certain traits if certain other trait is already being selected. So the algorithm has to then reject certain traits if a certain trait is already selected. I hope that makes enough sense. Just like, you know, you go out on a date and you wear a shirt and you won't wear a certain pair of pants with it because that doesn't actually go so well with the shirt that you've actually worn because you've got to look good on your date. That being the case, you need a smarter engine to actually generate these NFTs. That's for one. And then the second of all, you've got to develop the website. And when you develop the website, you've got to set up a minting interface as well. And when you develop the website, it's got to look good, first of all. Okay, so this is what my website looks like. I think it looks pretty fire, okay? So there's a little animation that shows how these um, are, can come together, right? Look at that. Right, we've got we've got basically like the riddle and sort of the use case section, some of the super rare Rhino section here as well. Um, the the schedule and then of course the FAQs, which then divide into two separate scrolling panels like so, which I think is pretty killer. And then lastly, you can register for whitelist, and then you got your Discord and Twitter, which then jumps into the marketing section. See, I'm not even talking about the marketing section. The, the infrastructure needs to be good. And lastly, is a smart contract. When you draft your smart contract, right? If you don't know how to do the code, that's fine. You can go and watch a three hour video on YouTube to do it and that'll just give you the step by step. But that's literally it. You can just create a PFP and a lot of PFPs, once they become successful, can then easily turn into DeFi and some sort of gaming functionality and all the rest of it. That really has to follow on. That means the smart contract that you generate today has to be ready for those kind of further deployments as well. When I was trying to just do this and I, and I just sort of like hire somebody else to do it for me, obviously I go to places like Upwork and I look at sort of blockchain development and NFT smart contract. But here's my question. How do you trust these people? You can, and I hope that they are trustworthy, right? I hope that they're trustworthy. They are obviously people that I've never met before. They charge different amounts of money per hour. It seems that the more experience they have, the more they will be charged. But let's say your NFTs do sell out, you know, at like, I don't know, 0.08 of an ETH and you sell out 10,000 of them, 800 ETH, right? 800 ETH times by, what, what is it, 4K an ETH right now? That's $3.2 million project, right? If there is a wrong address that gets put in or there's some sort of, some line of code that can siphon out all your money that you work so hard to earn, all the marketing efforts that you put together, all the discord that you've built and it just gets sucked straight out and these people can just sort of pack up and leave and they never existed all over again, then that is incredibly damning. That's incredibly tough for whoever has put in the work to create the artwork and things like that. That being the case, you need somebody who is actually 
you know, smart at all, you got to be able to actually deploy the contract yourself and do whatever you need to do and, and understand what's written in a smart contract and things like that. There are tutorials out there available, but if you're not doing this on a regular basis, this could actually be very difficult for you. So for me, I luckily have this ability and I can, you know, run this and I can run the due diligence and I can run the quality control behind this. And of course, I am a doxed person. You see me, I see you. I'm on TikTok with what, 100 plus thousand followers. That is a lot, guys. I think it's a lot. If you who are watching has more than that, then tell me and say, bro, that's shit or you're nobody. But if you don't have as much as I do, then you don't get to talk. That's the thing. So basically this video is just is a sales pitch. Really, I'm offering my services to deploy your smart contracts for you. If you want to create your own NFTs, we can talk about it. Hit me up, guys. You know my Telegram, you know my emails. It's all over this, you know, about section on my on my YouTube and stuff like that. I know a lot of influencers are interested in doing this. I know just a lot of just general people who want to invest some money. Obviously, it is quite lucrative, as you can see, right? So I'm doing my test case with my NFT series. So if you'd like to come in and you'd like your own NFT launches to be done, hit me up, guys. I'll help you with all of it. And you can trust that I'm not going to ruin my reputation for this because I've got so much more to go. If I was just a nobody that you've never heard of, then that's a different problem. But as you know, you know, I've got my face out there, not only on this channel, but on TikTok especially, right? And you know, the TikTok community is, is pretty large. There's a lot of steps to do it. Just make sure that your dev is trustworthy, okay? And you know, if you don't want to do my business with me, that's completely fine. It's up to you guys. Just make sure that if you're going to do your own projects, right, that your dev is somebody that you can truly, 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 truly trust because there is a lot of money that is going to be pushed around doing what do you do? And so work with somebody that you can actually trust. Work with somebody that has the right bargain with you to be able to deliver the service that you request. Okay. Of course, you can be lucky. You can go hire somebody that you've never met in a third world country that they're good at what they do and pay very little and you can get away with it. But the best thing for you to do is to work with something that is actually trustworthy. Even if it is a company that is overseas and they've been running for a long time, they could just disappear just like that. Obviously, for the, all the people that are doing the right thing, like, you know, congratulations. If you can find them, that great. But if you need that peace of mind, I think that's really, really important. That peace of mind, then you know who to hit up. All right, boys and girls, we offer services all the way from doing the artwork to generation, website and minting UI, as well as the smart contract deployment, as well as smart contract nurturing, you know, because it may be that at some point down the track, you want to change the number of supply or you want to break up your releases in thousands or something like that. Then at which point we need to work those with the smart contract so that we can limit the purchase of the people and things like that. So that will be in set in place as well. And of course, with the marketing side as well, that's another area that I haven't even talked about. But of course, being who I am, I've obviously got some great connections to be able to deliver good marketing as well. So if you're interested in this service, right, in, in interested in, in launching your NFT services, hit us up, guys. Much love to you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.